Adding social media links to your Google business profile used to be quite tricky, but it's now a piece of cake thanks to a long-awaited new feature Google has just released. This feature is available to all business owners and is incredibly user-friendly. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it. On a desktop, first go to Google and log in to your Google account that's connected to your Google business profile. Now do a search for either your business name or use the keyword My Business. This will take you to the dashboard where you can manage your Google listing information. Look for the Edit Profile icon and click on it. A little pop-up window will appear. Scroll down a bit and you'll see the social media profile feature with a new label next to it. Click on that. Pick the social media platform you want to link to from the drop-down menu, then add the web address of your social media page. The web address should follow a specific format, usually the social media name followed by your username. If you're struggling with this, check out the Google Business Profile Help website, which describes the type of links you need to use. I've put the link to it in the description below. Repeat the same process if you want to add more links. Once you've added your links, hit save. You'll get a message saying your edit is pending and that it might take up to 10 minutes to be reviewed. After that, your social media icons will appear on your Google panel. On a mobile, if you're doing this on your phone, open the Google Maps app and log in with a Google account linked to your Google business listing. Tap on your profile and choose your business profiles. Click on Edit Profile, then tap on the Contact tab. You should see the Social Profiles feature there. Just follow the same process I ran through for the desktop version. Editing or deleting links. If you want to change or delete a link, here is what you need to do. Log into your profile. Click on Edit Profile once more. To update a link, just replace the old one with the new address. To delete it altogether, click on the trash can icon. That's all there is to it. If you found this useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any other questions or comments, drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Until next time, happy marketing.